Hello, this is a small video on how to install Mirth Connect on a small Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, as you can see on my local network, um, here if the camera does the focus, I'll try to focus here. You can see there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Sorry about that. Sometimes it's difficult to focus. This is a cheap phone. Sometimes it, it doesn't focus. Um, Well, believe me, that Raspberry, yeah, okay. That is Raspberry. I will try to focus, sorry. Good. That's my local network. And the Raspberry is running on the IP is the 1.106. Yeah. And what I did is I logged in through SSH here on the Raspberry Pi on that uh, IP. Yeah. With the default uh, user, Raspberry. And the steps that I follow, I documented them here. Uh, first, I SSH on the Raspberry. The IP address is your uh, IP, where the, the Raspberry is listening. Uh, mine is 1.106. Uh, then I downloaded the um, Mirth Connect, the our file. This is the latest version right now, 3.5.2. Uh, and then I, um, I extracted the contents on a folder. I renamed the folder. I accessed that, that, that new folder and, and I executed the MC server program. That's the, the Mirth server. And that is running right now here from SSH, here you can see I executed the MC server and it's running. You you will see those logs there of the Mirth server running. Yeah. And if you go to that uh, machine IP address, I will try to focus here, sorry. Very difficult, sorry. There. Oh. This camera is difficult. Yeah, there. If you go to the IP address of the Raspberry machine on the on the port 8080, you will get this page. Yeah, if Mirth server is running correctly, you will see this page. And you should click on this link that will download a, a Java Web Start program. You execute that, and after you log in, the, the default login is admin admin. You will have the Mirth um, administrator. The Mirth administrator is the UI for the Mirth server. Uh, let's see if I can. I can focus there. Sorry. I will try to focus the camera. There, you can see the Mirth administrator is running against the same IP address where the Mirth server is running. Yeah, and this is another machine. This is my Linux machine. These two uh, screens are for the same machine, and on another machine, I'm logged in 
to the Raspberry Pi through SSH. Okay, so here I, I control the MIRTH server, but, but here I have the MIRTH administrator that is the client. So from here I can create communication channels, I can process HL7 messages or Diagon messages, etc. And later I will see what I can do with the Raspberry Pi that has limited um, processing power and memory. So I will check the performance on the Raspberry Pi by for low um, a low level of transactions and small messages. I don't think that will be an issue to to use the Raspberry Pi as a middleware box, really. And when I plug in, I just power up the the, the this little box. Uh, it, it connects to the to the Wi-Fi. It, it also can connect through the network. I can use that to to use a wired network. And if Mirth runs as a as a service, uh, when the when the box um, when the Raspberry Pi three box uh, is connected, uh, it will connect to the to the network to the local network and. Uh, it will run Mirth um, by default and will deploy all the communication channels. So that is great. Uh, I can use I can use it as a plug and play uh, test box uh, on a client, for example, or for doing my my tests here. I can I can even have that box on my pocket and use it uh, to sh uh, as a showcase, and I can plug it in and just uh, start the administrator and show um, a client or or a prospect how Mirth works or what what we can do with Mirth uh, because I provide service services um, over Mirth uh, so yeah that's great uh, and I don't need to install Mirth on every machine so I just install the Mirth server there and run the Mirth administrator on on the machine that I'm I'm, I will show um, how you know Mirth works, etc., or or where, where I where I will run tests with Mirth. So I think this is very useful. I didn't knew that was it was so easy to install Mirth Connect on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it took like five minutes to install. Uh, it took about two minutes or three minutes to download the whole file. Uh, but that's it. It's just uh, download, um, extract, execute, and that's it. So I hope this is useful. I will publish the steps that I followed. Uh, those steps will be published on the comments. So I hope this video is useful for you. Bye-bye.